Okay, Lawrence, and we're going to go from the heat of the desert to the frozen tundra of Alaska in Canada. Would you believe that dog sledding's newest star isn't from Moose Jaw or Nome, but just up the road north, suburban Evanston? Our Peggy Kaczynski mushes on with a very cool story. Just as Jack London, the author, sought adventure to find himself as a teen, so too did a young man from Evanston by the name of Hugh Neff. From Loyola Academy to the Alaska North, Neff went from a North Shore caddy to a dog musher. Bill was actually buddies with a, a couple of fellas at Westmoreland Country Club, and I was, I was a looper for close to 15 years before I got into dog mushing. And uh, in some respects, I think of dog mushing is just a great, massive golf course up in the north. And, uh, a looper? A looper. You know, a caddy, looper. Jack. And like London, Neff followed his call of the wild, settling in with Athabascan Indians, learning survival and dogs. Growing up in Chicago, you know, I know what cold's all about, being from the Windy City area, because uh, I used to, you know, uh, be out there at, you know, all hours of the day or night playing football, pretending I was, you know, uh, going long for a Jim McMahon bomb. and. He satisfied his love of the land and a love for the animals. Neff became obsessed as a dog musher, racing 20,000 mile races, finally getting his first win this past week at the Yukon Quest. Nine days, 17 hours, 14 minutes, 49 seconds. The world's toughest race came down to the closest finish in history, 26 seconds. Just Knowing I could pull this off, I just kept the dogs at a nice, fast pace and kept on egging them on, saying, sick them, boys, sick them, let's go get them. And I just, you know, I was giving that Ditka speech, saying, you know, let's get to the quarterback and let's take him down. And that's what we did. Now, true to your Chicago roots, is one of your lead dogs named after one of the greatest football players ever to wear a Bears uniform? His name's Walter Payton, uh, and uh, Walter Payton was, you know, a great hero of mine, and the dog Walter, uh, bigger than any other dog by 20 pounds. This dog was so motivated. He had such an incredible spirit to him that he never even looked back at me to get a command. He knew where the end zone was and he was going on all the way and uh, it was just amazing. A fun-loving personality on the trail, Hugh Neff's love of books stayed with him. He pulled out a copy of Dr. Seuss' Cat in the Hat after crossing the finish line. It's not about winning, he says, but about living the experience. It's, for me, it's just about going from village to village and seeing Native friends and get, getting out there and enjoying life, really. Not much rest for Neff with the Iditarod next week, but before the last great race begins, Neff can tell his family and friends in Chicago his move to the wilderness was worth the trip. Peggy Kaczynski, NBC5 Sports.